Welcome to the official podcast of the WCD. That's the World Congress of Dermatology, which will be held next in Singapore in 2023. My name is Dr. Etienne Wang, and I'm a consultant at the National Skin Centre of Singapore, and I will be your host on this podcast up until the conference. In this podcast, I will interview dermatologists and skin scientists from all over the world and bring you news and updates from our exciting specialty. I will also enlist the help of my fellow Singaporean dermatologists to co-host and guests on this podcast. Okay, right now, I would like to invite one of our dermatology residents who will be helping out with this podcast project. Hello, Sashin. Could you please introduce yourself? Hi, thanks, Dr. Etienne, and thanks for having me on this podcast. So I'm Sashin, one of the second-year dermatology residents, and I'm very excited to be here on this podcast today. Well, good to hear that. What is the general feeling among the residents and trainees about the upcoming WCD? Well, uh, a lot of us had been involved in the WCD even um, leading up to this. So, for example, when I was just a medical officer, I was involved in, uh, in the bid for the WCD at the AAD in 2019. So it's something we've been waiting for for a couple of years now. So we are very excited. I can imagine. All right. I believe you have an interesting piece of dermatology news for me today. Let's have it. Yes. So um, definitely it's a very exciting time to be a doctor these days with the COVID pandemic going on. Uh, things are changing rapidly with new vaccines, new strains. And one thing in particular that is interesting as a dermatologist living in the time of the pandemic is all the cutaneous manifestations, not just of COVID, but also following the COVID vaccination. Um, even last year, we heard about various manifestations ranging from uh, vasculitis to urticaria. But more and more recently, we've had patients coming to our clinics with rashes that have either started or worsened after the COVID vaccine. Yes, um, I can attest that I have seen several cases almost daily for this. It's very, very interesting. What do you think has been the main problem with these um, COVID re vaccine related rashes? I think one of the main problems is broadly, there have been two groups of patients that at least I have seen in clinic. One is those patients who've had pre-existing dermatological conditions, for example, psoriasis or eczema, who were hesitant to begin with about getting the vaccine. And then they come to our clinic with worsening of their existing conditions. On the other end of the spectrum, we've also seen some patients with completely new rashes. I uh, had a patient just the other day with urticaria that started about a week after getting her uh, COVID vaccination. So sort of these two ends of the spectrum, new skin conditions and worsening of pre-existing conditions. Yes, and I think the tricky thing about the patients with the new rashes is determining whether it's A, an allergy, or B, whether it's just basically vaccine immunogenicity, right? Exactly. Yes, so I think that's something that um, that's going to be very interesting in the upcoming few months when we dissect these cases. Well, speaking about the pandemic, I'm going to be talking next to Professor Roy Chan, who's the president of the WCD committee. And I think he's got a lot of interesting things to tell us about planning a conference during the pandemic. Great, great. Waiting to hear about that too. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Shashin. I'll speak to you. I'll speak to you in a future episode and you take care. Take care. Professor Roy Chan is a senior consultant and medical advisor at the National Skin Centre of Singapore, where he was director from 2004 to 2014. In addition to his many accolades, he is the president of the 25th WCD. He led an energetic and vibrant and ultimately successful bid for the WCD, and I'm sure many of you might have seen him at various ILDS conferences. Welcome, Professor Chan, to the first episode of the official podcast of the WCD. Thank you for inviting. I'm very happy to be here. How have preparations been for the WCD so far? Um, oh, uh, we've been very busy the last two years since we won the bid in June um, 2019 in Milan, uh, putting together committees and uh, looking at all of our plans which we made during the bid. Uh, so we've been extremely busy. Um, as you can imagine, um, most of the meetings or all of the meetings have been held virtually, the committee meetings, uh, meetings with our PCO, and um, um, the ILDS and so on. Has the pandemic affected their planning otherwise? Are we going to have an in-person conference in 2023? That's a million dollar question. There's certainly a pandemic has affected everybody, including um, ourselves. Uh, personally, professionally, from the point of view of planning for WCD, is, uh, it has had a major impact on, on our original plans. Our roadmap has, to be, has had to be redrawn and uh, rewritten um, we, we obviously uh, have issues with um, ensuring that 
safety and um, uh, safe distancing, uh, entry entry into Singapore and all that sort of thing. It's difficult to predict what's going to happen two years from now in 2023. So certainly delayed several of our decision points um, regarding the venue, regarding hotels. Uh, I think everything is uh, still pretty much um, fluid at this point in time. But we have continued to plan for a meeting in July 2023. Everyone I speak to is hoping for a face-to-face in-person meeting in July 2023. A lot of it relies on how this pandemic plays out and how the vaccination plays out. We obviously are not in control of that, but we are certainly making all efforts to make sure that if it does, if, if the situation does um, allow us to have a good a meeting, it'll be an excellent meeting. I'm sure a lot of people are looking forward to an in-person conference. Do you have any tasters on what we can look forward to in the meeting in 2023? Um, the scientific program has been more or less planned. Uh, we have shortlisted five excellent uh, distinguished lecturers, 15 keynote plenary speakers, uh, 60 topics for the main body of the meeting, which is the symposia. We have committee, our local committee, looking into free communication sessions, regional sessions. The meat of it is is there. Um, And also, we are excited to work with our proposed venue, which is Suntech Singapore. Um, it will be an excellent venue for, an, uh, for, a, for a face-to-face meeting. And is there going to be a virtual component of the meeting, do you think? Um, certainly, we are looking at all, pos- all potential uh, possibilities. There may be a virtual component um, if we find that many of our delegates are unable to, to attend in person. Um, so we're looking at a, at a hybrid conference as well as a all face-to-face conference as well as a all virtual conference. So lots of you know, alternative plans have to be drawn up. This is the first time in a very long time that the WCD is in this part of the world. What can people look forward to that is specific to a regional conference such as this? It is a global conference, it's the World Congress after all. Um, it's never been to this part of the world actually. It's never been to um, Southeast Asia or even South Asia. It's certainly been to um, Northeast Asia, to Tokyo and to Seoul, and never to um, somewhere in the tropics. So it'll be a first tropical WCD. I, I, as we all, as we know, um, Singapore is right in the middle of Southeast Asia, right in a very good melting pot. It's a real melting pot for cultures and cuisines and and um, uh, people from various uh, parts of the Asian uh, Asian continent. Um, so I think that the flavor will be quite different from anything else uh, in, because of the amalgamation of uh, you know variety of cultures and peoples. Uh, so that, that will be very exciting for us to present to our delegates um, the f- local flavor and the Southeast Asian flavor. Yes, and I think our skin research in Singapore has a program for tropical dermatology. Is that going to be a significant portion of the scientific program? There will definitely be sessions on tropical dermatology uh, and obviously not just Southeast Asian, but but the tropical dermatology from Africa, from Latin America and and other places. Uh, There will be several sessions on tropical dermatology, yes. Wow, that sounds very exciting. Okay, thank you, Prof Chan, for joining me on this first episode of the official podcast of the WCD. And we look forward to talking to you again, maybe in another episode. Thank you for the interview. I hope that this uh, podcast continues to um, attract more and more listeners because I think it's an excellent way of disseminating information, not just of the WCD, but of uh, dermatology in general. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you for joining us for this first episode of the official podcast of the WCD. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram at WCD2023 Singapore, and check out the WCD website, WCD2023Singapore.org, for more updates and content on the WCD. Until next time, stay safe and use sunblock. <laughs>